Hello, welcome to my channel again. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. Today we have Lico 852, peak index in the mountain array. So let's talk an array, array, and a mountain if the following property hold. So uh, array.length bigger than or equal than three. And there's some, I, uh, this, this is just confusing and uh, Basically, um, what is a uh, mountain? So here you, you see this, um, this is low number and the middle one is high number and then go back down, become a low number. So here you have up and down. So the middle is the peak of that mountain. And here too, um, zero, two, and then go down back to one and zero. So two gonna be a peak. So we're gonna output the index of that peak. And now the example three, uh, zero, suddenly go to 10, go down to two, go back to five and two, and then the peak is at 10. And here peak is five. So we output two, still more example. Let's take a look. So now we have 24, go all the way to 100. 100 go all the way down, 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 down to 19. So output is two. I see why people dislike this one because it took me a while to think about one of the corner case that if this uh, array have multiple mountain peak, so what should we do? But in here, like what they said, there's it says some I that the I is in the range inside that array, such that, so in I, everything before I will have less than the value of I. That means it's on the way to the peak. So I is peak. So after peak, everything on the right side of that peak will be smaller than the peak. And it said there are some Actually, if you think about it, there's no, it can be more than one number in that line that fulfill these two condition. So it's kind of weird in the here. So let's take a look how to solve this problem. So now we can loop through this. Um, so in this case, we can just think about there's only one case, one peak in this mountain. And this is it. Um, we loop through from one to the last, to the, all the way to the last second number of the array. So to check, and if current number uh, is the peak, so that means uh, current numbers left smaller than current, or current numbers right also smaller than current, then we are at the peak right now. So let's take a look at the code. So it's certain they have, they guarantee that will be a mountain. So we don't need to check the corner case. So now we have I started with one and also I ended with last second array. I mean, last second um, integer. So this is the loop. And what we need to check is when array dot i minus one is smaller than array dot i in the same time array i is bigger than array next number plus one then i is peak so we turn i at that time and we found this solution and here we have to have a template for outputting something that will be one of the answer oh it passed 100 percent surprisingly but let's one more one more time um yeah that that's cool but there's not a way to take a look at this problem is having two pointer to treat this problem as a binary search problem to find uh, where's the middle, where's the peak. So we have 
star equal to zero n and equal to array uh, dot length minus one. And we have a condition while star less than n to check because we break it down the middle equal to star plus um n minus star so this is gonna be the end the middle point between start and middle i mean start and end so we find the middle point so it's going to be faster. So the time complexity will be log n in here. So if the condition right here is the mid that we found smaller than mid plus one, in this case, we will, because since it's only have one peak, sorry, let me type this first. Now, since you only have one peak, you know, it, if it's keep going up and up and up and the midpoints right here and midpoint plus one is still um, bigger than the midpoint, that means on the way up. So we will find, uh, keep pushing to the right side. So that definitely the peak is not gonna be the left side. So we swing down the range by having star starting point to the mid plus one, else we just make n equal to mid on the right side. And after this while loop, we will push the peak become the star pointer. And then we just output the mid, the peak on the star pointer, then that will be the answer. I thought it would have some different, but this is way faster than the previous solution, but I don't know why, uh, maybe the test case is too easy. And that's it for this question. Um, if you have any question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.